did something! Et l'idée où Welcome back to another video guys. In this video I'm going to be trying to cure the uh, engine management light and the code that is on my transport van. Not 100% sure if you can see it at the moment, but it's just out there up in the air. It is a 1.9 diesel engine. Uh, it's a very similar engine to lots of other Skodas, Audis and uh, obviously other Volkswagens. Now I believe that the uh, variable nozzles inside the VNT turbo have become stuck over time due to oil build up, soft and stuff like that and it's not giving correct boost when it's supposed to and then it puts my van into limp mode. Uh, if your car sounds like it has a very similar fault, this hopefully will fix your fault as well as fix mine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the damp pipe off the exhaust and we are gonna fill the uh, exhaust side of the turbo with oven cleaner. Uh, to do this, I'm gonna be removing this uh, spray nozzle off of this WD can, putting it on here so we get better accuracy to get inside the turbo. Um, and hoping for a prayer really, hoping for the best. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using uh, Mr. Muscle Oven Cleaner which is very very uh, harmful, let's put it that way, and very good at eating through grease and as well as soot and oil and slime and all sorts of stuff. Very very good, been proven many times. Um, we're going to be using the nozzle off of this WD can because it's going to allow us to spray it further into the turbo and then as this foam expands it fills up all the area around it as well as get to any of the nozzles and all the stuff that's going to be potentially stuck. So make sure you wear protective equipment for this. I'm fully clothed in scruff clothes because I have no idea what this does to uh, clothing if you get it on it on you. Uh, make sure you also wear gloves and I'd recommend probably eye protection depending on I'd probably just wear eye protection anyway so you don't want to get this stuff in your eyes. This is very very harmful uh, I got him it's corrosive it has a uh, caustic soda in it as um, and it says poison it just say poison on it as well so yeah yeah so we're gonna be removing the downpipe of the exhaust and filling the hot side of the turbo up with this and when I say hot side I mean the exhaust side the engine is cold <laughs> we're not doing this with a hot engine so that was a miss misspeak so now let's go and get to my van and let's get the downpipe off. So here we have the beating heart of my van. This is the 1.9 BRS engine. Uh, down the back somewhere, if I can get the camera in enough, you will see the downpipe in the middle of the screen and that leads up to the turbo. Now on this particular 1.9 engine, the downpipe is held on with a, what looks like a V-clamp. It has one little bolt on it, undo the bolt and then the pipe will come away. Some people's turbos will have three bolts which bolt a flange on, uh, which you're going to be taking it off in a very similar way to what you do for that, but this fan is slightly different. So I'm going to get underneath and we are going to remove this clamp, but we're going to have a better look from underneath and you'll be able to see the hot side of the turbo and then we'll remove the clamp and remove the downpipe out of the way. So I already have my van in the air because I'm doing another job on it. Uh, in the middle of the screen you can see the clamp for the downpipe and the hot side of the turbo. Uh, that clamp looks like it undoes from the top. It is very windy, so excuse you for any wind noise. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and undo that clamp from the top if I can get to it. I think it's a spline socket that's on the end, uh, you know, a spline bolt that goes through it. Uh, we're going to undo that and we're going to remove that pipe out the way, just drop it off to the side. That will allow us access into the turbo with the oven cleaner and the pipe. Now, I was actually struggling to see what uh, bolt it is on the clamp, so I was a bit cheeky. Uh, use my phone, and then if you look at the bolt on the phone, that is actually, this is a picture I've just took by the way, uh, that is actually a Allen key bolt. So we just need to get the right fitting, probably 5mm, maybe 6mm, I'll confirm afterwards and undo that. The clamp will come off and then the pipe will move out of the way. So I removed the down pipe. I'm trying to get the camera in so you can see. When I say removed, it's off the turbo. So there's a gap now into the hot side of the turbo. So now we need to swap the caps over on the oven cleaner and the, uh, the WD-40. Get ourselves covered up. So I've got some gloves, I've got some safety goggles, uh, and somehow we're gonna have to squirt this bad boy inside. Sounds dodgy. So we have our Mr. Muscle and we have our WD. Now, 
on the internet someone figured out a long time ago that this cap comes off and fits onto there. How it comes off is another question. Like so, there we go. This is the smart nozzle or something it's called. It's very two ways, wide and narrow. That pops off. And then this then pops on with hopefully without squirting to so compress the red and not the uh, grey. So that's now lined up. So we're going to spray oven cleaner down there. Um, and that's going to get inside the turbo, which is be great. So make sure you get your safety equipment out now. So you can see I have safety goggles in case of uh, the foam splashing back at me. We're at the Mustard Muscle, and I'm also going to use a rag. The rag will be to wipe off anything, any excess residue. But also, once I've sprayed enough foam inside the uh, turbo, it expands. So obviously, I'm going to pack the end of the turbo with the rag for now. Uh, and then after probably half an hour or so, I'll take the rag out, probably spray a bit more on and repeat. You need to keep this uh, oven cleaner in for about two hours, from what I've read. Uh, in an oven, it takes five minutes, but uh, apparently on your turbo, it takes a bit longer. Uh, so yes, we're going to uh, do all that, and remember with this oven cleaner, it is very, very corrosive, so if you have any aluminium parts around, wipe it off immediately, and then uh, rinse it down. So now we're going to get underneath, and see if we can start doing some squirty squirt. So, we're back underneath my van, you can see that the downpipe is now below the turbo, so I've got all this access into the side of the turbo. We have the oven cleaner with the nozzle, I have my rag just there, and uh, this is going to be very awkward to do and film at the same time, but I'm going to start, and then I'm going to put the camera down and fill it, and then I'll show you the after result, just because I'm so far away, because of the layout of the van, I'm so far away from the turbo, but this is at maximum arm reach. <laughs> um, so. If we start spraying in, into the turbo, in fact, yeah, ready to spray, it is locked in place, isn't it? Yeah. So we do a spray. We are now spraying. Oh, make sure you shake your can as well. I'll have quickly here, uh, do a shaky shake. This is a bit awkward. <laughs> There we go. Conscious it is dripping already. And spray. There you can see the foam's coming out. I'm going to put the nozzle back into the back of it. Right, I'm going to put the camera down because I need to catch this. So hopefully you can see now the turbo is fully packed up with the foam. It doesn't take much. You can probably do like multiple treatments from one can. Um, I just need to leave that now and then come back to it in a little while. Uh, try and rinse off this extra um, but it's not on any aluminium so we're okay so I'm just going to quickly uh, get out of this place and then come back in a little while but make sure you wear uh, protective equipment you can see it's all over my hand it's all over the rag I'm going to wipe that pipe up there, that oil feed pipe and I'm going to come out of this bit and then we're going to leave it for two hours or so but check it every half an hour and keep topping up as, un as unnecessary if you can squeeze more in so whilst the oven cleaner is in I've got a bar just to push down, like with my hand, on the actuator. Well, that bar I've just dropped. <laughs> Let's get the bar again and I'll show you what I was doing. Got the bar. This is why I dropped it because I'm filming a bit. So, it's not the right size or anything, it's just with a socket on, just hooked over the actuator arm, and then I can actuate the veins. I don't know if you can see it on camera. See what I'm pressing in the middle of the camera? I can hear the diaphragm moving. I'm just gonna keep pumping as far as it will go back and forth. And what that's doing is working the nozzles, or should be anyway. So that's moving the uh, oven cleaner around inside the turbo. So I'm going as far as it will allow me to go all the way down and back up. Now, if your bar doesn't move at all, there's a good chance that uh, your actuator is uh, seized. But we have plenty of movement. And I know it worked well. I say I've seen it move when I've been revving it. So I know the vacuum side of mine is working at least anyway. Right, I have pumped that quite a lot. I'm going to let the oven cleaner sit in the uh, turbo now 
and do its thing. I'll top it up in, in probably half an hour or so and I'll probably pump that a bit more and keep doing that for about two hours. So the cleaner's been in uh, approximately two hours-ish. Uh, I've been working that actuator and topping it up as I'm, uh, sorry, as, <laughs> as I'm needed. Um, I'm going to uh, squirt a bit more in now and then I'm going to put the downpipe on and then leave it for another half an hour or so um, and then we're going to run it. It's very bent under here. <laughs> Look at that. Shouldn't be bent like that. Um, so yes, so i am not be able to film putting the downpipe on because it's going to be a pain in the ass with uh, two hands and the reach I've got at the moment. But I'm going to get that back on um, I'll show you once it's done. Uh, yeah, make sure you use, I haven't got no safety equipment on. I've got my gloves, but I haven't got my goggles. But I'll be putting the goggles on for sure. So, uh, yeah, time to get bolted up. Don't forget if you've got um, gaskets, which you should have, because a gasket fell out, make sure you put your gasket in as well. So the downpipe is now yeah, back connected, if I can get the camera there somewhere. Uh, I've changed the angle of the actual bolt because if I have to do this again or something like that it means I can get to it easier from underneath because of my van and how much room I have down there so it's just a waiting game now and then we're gonna fire up and it'll burn through any well I say burn I'm not gonna burn much of it it's just gonna fire it straight out the exhaust um, and then it's a case of giving it a good run um, and uh, yeah it's bloody windy here we are in the van, uh, the exhaust is back together, we've done the um, turbo treatment with the oven cleaner, uh, it's now time to fire her up, so she hasn't been started for you know a day or so, so make sure the coil light's good, nice and warm, fire. <laughs> there is a bit of smoke coming out the back, I don't know if you'll be able to see it coming past the window. She's now running. And the smoke's already gone. <laughs> There's now no smoke. That's good. That's good. Now what you guys need to do is go and take your vehicle for a run. And your power will be restored. I need to drop mine down and do that exact same thing. But mine's still in the air. So, uh, cut to a shot of me driving, I think. I just want to add that I did some more revs, uh, a bit more revy rev. Um, got it up to 4K while sat on the drive, and it chucked out a load of black smoke, which is all the soot and the crap that's been loosened on the turbo, um, which is good. That's good. That's what you want. You want all that to go. Normally driving this, I don't get any soot or smoke. So to get it out then, that means it's burnt. I see it's blown it out, which means it's the, the oven cleaners took it off, which is great. Now there's none, so that is good. It's blown out all that loose crap, and my throttle response it's loads better. It's good. Time for a driver thing. So there we go. In this video, you saw me put some oven cleaner in my turbo which is a very odd thing to do with your oven cleaner but for the most part that will fix most people's issues with their turbos that have sticky um, variable nozzles or veins or whatever you want to call them unfortunately that has not fixed Alan that was not Alan's problem or fault what am I getting dripped on by I just got dripped on where's that coming from okay so in another video soon we'll find out why I'm getting dripped on and where from um, but yes, the oven cleaner did not fix um, my fault on the van because I have an underboost fault, not an overboost fault. Uh, overboost is obviously where your turbo gets stuck. Underboost is most likely pointing to a boost leak or a vacuum leak. So make sure you check out the other videos I'm doing around about now and you will see how we progress with fixing the fault on my van. Thank you for watching. I'm mending something! Really do.